Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we're having a battle in the Inu tier against Samurai Jack. Using the same team as last video, this team, I love this team. Like, I love the idea of a hazard stacking team. Um, this video, this this team really got to shine. It really showed what it does best. And uh, But anyway, looking at Samurai Jack's team, he's got the Ariados, the Rotom Mo. He's got a Silvali Gallade a Seismitoad, and a Malamar. So biggest threats on this team are definitely the Malamar and the Gallade, and uh, possibly even Silvali. Um, that could definitely cause me some issues. Look at my team. We've got the Miss Magius, the Verizion, Sneasel, Garboder, which actually did something this game, um, which was fucking wild. And then we got the Slowking and the Drudagon. So this was a really fun match, guys. I hope you'll enjoy it. So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with Miss Magius as my opponent is going to lead off with his Ariados. So I kind of figured he was probably going to try to set up the sticky webs here and my opponent actually predicted that fabulously. He's going to go ahead and swap out and uh, he's going to bring out his Malamar here predicting my taunt which is perfect. So I do go for the taunt here and uh, it obviously doesn't really mean much to a Malamar but <laughs> um, I'm gonna obviously have to get out of here because Miss Magius while I am a ghost type and Malamar is a psychic type he's also a dark type so I don't want to take a stab knockoff here on Miss Magius so I'm gonna switch out into Drudigon here just to um, get some passive damage off with my rough skin and my rocky helmet here he's gonna knock off my rocky helmet which kinda sucks for Drudigon but I do have the rough skin at least for later um, so he does have the leftovers here, he's going to get some lefties back. But um, all around, the passive damage did about 20%-ish to his health, so that's always nice. So here, he's going to do what basically every Malamar ever does, and he's going to try to set up with the uh, the contrary superpower. So he's going to get a plus one attack, plus one defense boost. I'm going to go for the glare here, not because it slows him down, because Malamar is already slow as shit. Um, just for the like 30% chance or whatever for it to not be able to do anything so um, I thought that might be handy for I guess later in the game So I'm gonna go ahead and set up some rocks here as well while I'm at it because he's just gonna have to hit me Drodagon's basically here just to get hit <laughs> um, So he's gonna go ahead and set up a sub here, which is an absolute nightmare for my team Unfortunately this Malamar Definitely the biggest threat on his team, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to figure out some way of playing around this thing So he's gonna go for the psycho cut here, which I don't believe makes contact if I'm not mistaken Or does it? No, no, it doesn't so he actually scores a crit there and at plus one or whatever he's at Maybe maybe he's at plus two. I think he's only at plus one though But um that actually didn't do that much with a crit so that just goes to show how bulky Drudagon is But uh, I'm gonna go for the dragon tail there just to try to break this up, but unfortunately He's got that plus one defense boost, it's not going to do much of anything, so he's going to kill me off with another hit here, and uh, he's going to get more attack and more defense boosts. <laughs> um, he is going to take some rough skin damage, but again, he does have the leftovers, which is kind of going to mitigate that a little bit, so that's really unfortunate. I lost my Drudagon now, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, so I think I just bring out my Sneasel here to basically sack it off. I just need something to come in and break this thing sub. If I do that... I think he's low enough to the point where I can actually deal with him. So I'm gonna bring out Sneasel here. I'm gonna go for the knockoff just to break the sub because Sneasel's really fucking strong, especially Choice Banded. Um, and I actually luck out here. He actually finally gets fully paralyzed. So he's gonna get some lefties back, but thankfully I didn't take a hit here. Um, and that will definitely come into play here as I do. I am able to get a second knockoff off. And that's going to get rid of his leftovers. Now his Malamar is low enough that I can just bring something else in and take care of it. So he's going to kill me off with yet another <laughs> superpower. So I think he's at plus three attack and defense. So I'm going to bring out Miss Magius here. And like I said, he's low enough to the point now where I can kill this thing off with a Shadow Ball. It is neutral, and I'm sure he's like max HP, max special defense, but he's low enough to where that doesn't matter. So Malamar is thankfully going to go down here. And uh, I had to sack off two of my mons just to deal with that thing. That thing is such a pain in the ass. But um, here, he's just going to bring out the Silvali, and I really can't touch this thing, so I'm obviously going to have to swap here. And um, yeah, so he's basically free to just go for the parting shot here as I bring in Hayden Vids, the, uh, the Garboder here. So he's going to lower my attack and special attack, which honestly doesn't matter. Garboder is just kind of here to set up uh, like entry hazards and stuff. 
So he's going to swap. He is going to bring out the Ariados now. And because my Sneasel is gone, I actually don't mind him setting up the Sticky Web because the majority of my team is relatively slow. And the only other fast mod on my team, other than like Verizion, is my Miss Magius, which has Levitate. So Sticky Web does not affect Miss Magius. So I'm totally okay with him setting up Sticky Webs now. Of course, I couldn't really do anything to, to change that anyway, but. Yeah, that's totally fine with me as I'm able to set up a, my first layer of spikes. He is now going to bring out the Gallade. Now this thing is really scary. But he actually told me after the battle that he didn't have Zen Headbutt or Psycho Cut on this Gallade. I guess because he had it on Malamar. Um, which really bit him in the ass. <laughs> um, as we'll see here. But I'm going to set up another layer of spikes as he's going to set up the Swords Dance here. And on the following turn my opponent is going to get really really greedy here. And uh, I set up another layer of spikes as my opponent goes for a second Swords Dance. So I've got all three layers of spikes and Stealth Rocks. And my opponent just got really greedy here. So now I'm going to go for the Gunk Shot. And I actually crit him. So guys, this is why you don't get greedy in Wi-Fi battles. Because this is Pokemon. Literally anything can happen. I just critted him there. Which honestly, I calced it after the, at the end of the match after he told me he didn't have a Psychic move on his Gallade. I actually live a plus four Ice Punch with my Garboder from a Gallade, <laughs> which is fucking nuts. So he would have taken uh, two rounds of my Rocky Helmet and the Gunk Shot, which his Gallade probably would have died from. So I really don't think that crit mattered, it just kind of sped up the process a bit. My Garboder would be lower on health, but since I outspeed this Seismitoad, it really wouldn't matter as much, so I just want to make you guys aware of that. So I go for the Seed Bomb. He actually has the Grass Berry, which is going to reduce the damage of Seed Bomb. But since I outspeed, it really doesn't matter. I'm able to go for a second Seed Bomb there and kill off his Seismitoad. So he's not able to set up much of anything. Um, I'm assuming his Seismitoad had rocks or whatever. But uh, anyway, he's going to bring out his Silvali, and now the Hazard Stacking is really starting to... Uh, hurt this man so he's gonna go for the ice beam here and it actually doesn't do that much damage I'm actually a little bit surprised um, But I'm gonna go for the toxic here just to wear down the Silvali um, Because he does have parting shot which he probably doesn't want to go for anymore because um, Every time he switches he's just gonna get repeatedly punished for it. So he's just gonna keep going for the ice beam here and uh, I'm just gonna go for the gunk shot here just to wear this thing down just a little bit more so he's going to take the Gunk Shot and the Toxic Damage, and uh, after this, the following turn, I'm able to kill him off with a Seed Bomb. I went for Seed Bomb instead, um, because I didn't want to miss the Gunk Shot, plus maintaining Gunk Shot PP is uh, kind of nice, because I think it only has like 5, and then if you use PP ups, you can get up to 8. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go for the Seed Bomb here, it is going to kill him, so fucking Garboder just comes in here and like kills like two or three of his mons which is fucking wild you hardly ever see Garboder do anything other than like like setting up hazards and stuff which is pretty cool um so he's gonna bring out his Rotom here he's gonna kill me off with a Volt Switch I don't really agree with that play just because hazards are a thing and he's just honestly he's just making it so his team is getting weaker and weaker by the moment so he's gonna bring out Ariados and Ariados is just gonna get absolutely double penetrated by fucking rocks and spikes so Ariados is not looking too hot over there I'm gonna bring out Miss Magius I knew that Ariados does pack the sucker punch but I figured I'd probably be able to actually live that because Ariados has pretty ass <laughs> physical attack to be honest um, so I'm gonna go for the mystical fire there I am able to live the sucker punch that's gonna kill off the Ariados his last mon is the Rotom and uh, Miss Magius can't really do anything to Rotom except for the fact that I have the Z move, Never Ending Nightmare, so I'm actually going to end this battle in style here. I'm going to pop the Z Crystal, go for the Never Ending Nightmare, that is going to kill off the Rotom. If I didn't have that, I probably would have had to bring in another Mon and kill off this Rotom, but... Anyway, I'm going to end the battle in style, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, hit up my Discord for a battle. Links, as always, are in the description below. I love you guys. Peace out.